This is the benchmark for the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16. This laptop comes with a 16 inch display with a 144Hz refresh rate plus free sync. It has a storage of 500GB SSD and a RAM of 16GB. This is the 2021 version so it comes default with Windows 10 installed. However, you can always install Windows 11 Pro like I did. For the graphics card, it is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. There are links and timestamps down below to everything that I'll be talking about in this video. So if you see something that sparks your interest, you can check it out. First, I'm going to show you the CPU performance scores in 3D rendering and Adobe Photoshop. Before I show you the 3D rendering result, one thing to note is that the higher the score, the better the computer is. For the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16, it has a 3D rendering score of 4920. For comparison, the Lenovo ThinkPad P15 Gen 2 has a score of 4699, which is more expensive than the M16. But if you want a better laptop for around the same price of the M16, then the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 would be the one for you because that laptop has a score of 5090. For the benchmark in Photoshop, the M16 crashes Photoshop with a score of 5.37. Just so you know, the lower score is the better. The Lenovo ThinkPad P15 Gen 2 outperforms the M16 once again with a score of 5.05, .05, while the G14 is just right behind the M16 with a score of 5.78. Now those are just the CPU performance, let's talk about the GPU performance. Using 3D Mark Fire Stripe Benchmark, this is the score that I got for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti inside the M16. One thing to note that the higher the score, the better the computer is. The score I got for the M16 was 14,917, which if I'm being honest, that's the best you can get for this price range. But if you think that's not enough for you and you want scores like 15,000 and above, then you would have to increase your budget to at least $1,000 more. Now for the part you all have been waiting for, the gaming benchmarks. For the gaming benchmark, we'll be looking at the frames per second. If you're new to the gaming world or the videoing world, you don't know what frames per second mean. Basically, you're going to want to have a high frame rate when you're playing especially if you're playing professionally the higher the frame rate the better your reaction time is the better your respawn time is and everything is pretty nice when playing apex legend you'll be able to get 117 frames per second at max settings and 212 frames per second at minimum settings For Minecraft, when you're playing Minecraft, you'll be able to get 460 frames per second at minimum settings and 61 frames per second at max settings. If you like ARK Survival Evolved then you will be satisfied with this laptop because you'll be able to get 61 frames per second at high settings and 173 frames per second at low settings. And for the people out there who plan to play Cyberpunk 2077 this laptop struggles to play that game because at high settings you'll only get around 50 frames per second and at low settings you'll only get 65 frames per second. This is no surprise because this game had a lot of glitches on the release date. So maybe, just maybe, this laptop doesn't know how to angle cyberpunk. The computer probably sees it as a bug or something like that. And for my GTA 5 players, this laptop would run your game at 95 frames per second in high settings and 126 frames per second in normal settings. But if you want to go crazy with max settings, then you'll only get 40 frames per second, sadly. I know Overwatch 2 is just around the corner but I'm pretty sure most people are still playing the first Overwatch. If you are playing Overwatch on this computer you'll get 139 frames per second at epic settings 
and 218 frames per second at the lowest settings. If you ask me 129 frames per second at epic settings is really great. Most people won't see the difference after 120 frames per second. We're outside the distillery, Captain. Clear out the building and find Max. I'm opening the doors now. Stay on your toes. Prepare for the worst. Playing Rocket League on this computer is a overkill because at high settings you can get around 291 frames per second and at low settings you can get around 420 frames per second. In conclusion, those are the benchmarks for the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16. To be honest, this laptop is perfect for gaming on the go. So far with the games that I play on this computer, I haven't experienced any performance issues. If I didn't go over a game benchmark that you were interested in, then let me know in the comment section. Also, feel free to ask me any question about this laptop in the comment section. If you want to know more about this computer, then check this video out where I show you a day in the life using this laptop.